In this lecture, we're going to introduce the statistical programming language called R. R is a very powerful language that's used by many data analytics experts today in many different types of nonprofit and for-profit companies. So we'll start by introducing what R actually is, and then we'll talk about the platform called R Studio, and then follow that with a description and discussion of what packages are. So let's start with an introduction to R. So as part of the technological revolution, we've seen this really rapid growth in our technology and analytics abilities. And so we've seen what's referred to as the elbow starting to occur right now, where we're seeing this exponential growth. And R is just one of those platforms that's really catapulted the field of analytics forward based on the amount of different types of analyses and visualizations you can do using the statistical programming language. In addition, there's a number of other types of platforms and languages available, such as Python, Hadoop, as well as products by Tableau, IBM, SAP, and Oracle that have really pushed us forward in terms of the analytics revolution. So today we're going to focus on R, though. So R is an open source and free computational language and environment that can be used for statistical analysis and data visualization. And it's very much similar to the S language, which was developed at Bell Laboratories. So R really comes from S. So if you've learned S before, R is going to look pretty familiar. Now, there are a variety of packages available that facilitate specific and advanced statistical analyses and data visualizations in R. And we'll talk about what packages are towards the end of this lecture. Now, the R software can be freely downloaded in Windows, Mac operating systems, and Linux operating systems as well. And you do so through a, what's called a CRAN mirror. So why R? Why are so many people and companies using R, especially in human resources today? Well, first and foremost, R and its packages are free. Second, R allows users to define their own new functions. Three, due to its open source nature, R is often fast to react to new advances in statistics, data analytics, and data visualization. Four, R is a powerful language that many employers value. Also, did I mention that it's free? This is one of the major selling points, as a lot of the other platforms that you pay for can be really expensive within a company for individual user licenses. So who uses R? Well, there's countless numbers of different companies and organizations that are using R today, both in universities, for-profit, and non-profit companies. So Google and Facebook come to mind in terms of HR analytics, or their people analytics function, as they call it for using R for their data analysis, some of their management functions, as well as for data visualization. Other tech companies like Microsoft also use it. In addition, the financial services industry, such as the company Bank of America, is also known for using R, as does Ford, John Deere, the New York Times uses it, even in the government with the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, as well as some nonprofits like the Human Rights Data Analysis Group, or HR DAG. And so there's a number of different companies that are using R today. And the reason, again, is because it's free, it's powerful, it's open source, it moves and responds quickly, and you can annotate your scripts and your code so you can communicate more easily amongst a team of members. So now let's talk about R Studio with an introduction to the platform that is called R Studio. So R Studio is not required to use R. However, R Studio offers a number of helpful features as well as user-friendly interfaces. So you do need R installed on your machine in order to use R Studio. Now, just like R, R Studio is free and open source. And perhaps more importantly, R Studio is an integrated development environment for R. And what this means is that it sits on top of R and uh, provides a number of other types of applications and extensions and makes things generally easier to operate when it comes to running your data analyses and creating data visualizations. So why RStudio? Well, just like R, there is a free version of RStudio, specifically for the non-commercial version. It also makes RStudio easier to work with. And it also facilitates document generation as well with their R markdown function, as well as extensions like Shiny, which allow you to make dynamic data visualizations. So who uses RStudio? Well, many R, many R users do. In fact, I would almost say that most R users do. The reason is, is it offers so much more ease and facility when it comes to working with R. And so all the script, all the coding will look exactly the same in R Studio, but there's some color coordination and coordinating that makes it a little bit easier to read things, as well as embedded extensions to other platforms like Shiny, as I mentioned, R Markdown. 
And there's a number of other features and windows that you can use. So you can actually look at your data visualizations right within the platform within one of the windows. It's a really, really nice platform. And I highly encourage you, if you're using R, to also download the free version of R Studio. It'll make your life that much easier. So now let's do an introduction to packages. So what are packages? Well, in R, a package contains a collection of functions, generally with an overarching theme or purpose. So examples of functions and packages that we'll use in this class include lessr, which was developed by Professor David Gerbing at Portland State University. And the idea behind this package is that it has a number of statistical functions that are useful for parametric and even some non-parametric statistics. And these allow you to run analyses as well as do assumption testing and things like that, all with minimal code or minimal script. And this also auto-generates data visualizations, and you can create your own data visualizations without having to go to extra steps that you might be required to, to do in other types of packages. In addition, there's the Tidyverse universe of packages, which includes packages such as dplyr, ggplot2, reader, tidyr, and so forth. These are really, really great data management as well as data visualization packages. And these have come a long way since about 2015 when they were introduced as part of the Tidyverse. And now they're kind of the go-to for data management for many data scientists and HR ana um, um, analytics professionals in companies. Beyond those, there's tens of thousands of other packages now that you can download for free. And these include the Psych package, which has a number of useful functions that you would use for social science data when you're working with human data, such as internal consistency reliability functions like the alpha function. In addition, there's other packages like Levon, which is for structural equation modeling, as well as the multi-level package, which makes it easier to do random coefficients modeling or addressing nested data, in other words. So when you have, let's say, individuals nested within groups, how do you account for that nesting structure, the non-independence of the data, as well as when you have time nested within individuals as, as well, such as when you're looking at longitudinal data over time. So packages are really, really useful. They pack in anywhere from a few functions to many different functions, again, with an overarching theme or purpose. So you can find these across many different fields and disciplines, have developed their own packages, and they do go through a really careful vetting process in order to be accessible through the CRAN or the comprehensive R archive network so you can officially download them. So if something's available there, you can be rest assured that it's going to be of high quality and it's been carefully vetted by a number of experts who have tried to break it and try to make it better as well. So in this lecture, we talked about what R is as well as what R Studio is. As I mentioned, I highly recommend that you use R Studio when you're working with R. You'll need to download both though. In addition, we finished up by talking about what packages are. They're really valuable collections of functions that you don't need to define or specify yourself. Now, of course, with R, you can always create your own functions, but why recreate the wheel or reinvent the wheel when someone's already done it? And oftentimes, they've put a lot of thought into it and made it relatively user-friendly. So this wraps up the lecture on an introduction to R.